Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching Two News at 7. I would love to go see as many as I can. Democratic presidential candidates are making their way to northern Nevada. Well, because it's now Nevada's turn to select a nominee. Campaign 2020 tops Two News at 7 o'clock. Early caucusing starts Saturday. The hope is that the early voting period will improve participation. Those early votes won't be counted till caucus day. I'm Ryan Kanick. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for keeping it here. Now, for the first time, 17-year-olds will be able to participate as long as they turn 18 before the general election. And Democrats will offer same-day registration. Now, the early caucus period runs this Saturday to Tuesday, and it's the first time it's been tried. Paul Nelson has more. Nevada's front and center in the Democratic presidential primary process. The caucus is a week from Saturday. It comes after strong results for Pete Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders. Nevada is now very critical for either making the, the rise of Buttigieg and Sanders credible, because it could validate that, or it could put an end to that. Lawkins says it could also put an end to some campaigns and narrow the field. A second tier of candidates are hoping we're muddying the waters. For the first time, Nevada's Democrats will be able to caucus early. They'll choose their top three choices and no more than five. Those votes will go to their designated precincts on caucus day. It's a great idea. The problems that I see are first workability. I don't know that the word is really out. So a lot of Democrats may not know they have the option. Some voters say they plan on going early to save time, but there are questions about how the process will work. I actually don't know much about it. And so, yeah, I am concerned. because I, I, I don't really know much about the process. So I've heard some bits and pieces that things aren't going as smooth with the technology as they would like, but these things always seem to work out fine in the end. Others say they'll bypass the early caucus period. They'll go on caucus day and take in the social aspect of choosing a candidate. In our precinct, there's only six of us. And it's so much fun to go in there and there's just six of us and the whole, the, the, the place is full of like people with 150, 200 people and they're all fighting and there's the six of us. It's fun. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Now, we do want to add that we've heard from many of you who have questions about how the early caucus voting process is going to work, and we do too. We've been in contact with the state and local Democratic Party representatives all day. So far, they've been unwilling to meet with us to explain the process on camera. Now, we want to show you exactly how it'll work from start to finish so you know what to expect. And with early caucus voting starting on Saturday, we will try again tomorrow. So for a list of early voting locations, you can head to our website for a link.